How to shoot the high frame rate footage with the Sony RX100 Mark 7. In my last video I published some footage when I was testing the high frame rate function on my new Sony RX100. I have got some questions how this uh, function works and I will now give you a short tutorial on how to shoot high frame rate footage. First of all, this is not the regular video setting, like when you set the 30 or 60 frames per second. This is its own separate function that has its own uh, slot on the function dial. So in the movie menu, which is number two, you will find the HFR settings. And when you click it, you access the actual uh, settings. The record setting defines the output frame rate, what your video will be. My video will be 30 frames per second. The frame rate is the speed you will actually shoot. You can shoot 240, 480 or 960. 960 will obviously give the most prominent slow motion effect. Given my 30 frames per second output, it will be 32 times slower. You should keep in mind though that those high frame rates also requires high shutter speeds, which requires lots of light. So under many conditions, it's a lot easier to shoot in 240 or 480 because then you don't need as much light. As you can see, this indoor footage is very noisy. It's shot at ISO 6400. It would have been much uh, better quality in 240 or 480 frames per second. Priority settings. You can uh, prioritize either quality or shoot time because you have a limited amount of time that you can shoot at this high frame rate. And if you choose the shoot time priority, you can shoot slightly longer sequences, but I prefer quality footage. So I will set this to quality priority. Rec timing. You can select either start trigger, end trigger or end trigger half. I will explain start trigger first. Start trigger means that you start shooting when you hit rec. This is the most intuitive and straightforward setting. It's suitable when you can control the start of an event like igniting a lighter. It's also suitable when you shoot constantly ongoing motions like rain. I will first uh, demonstrate the start uh, trigger timing. I should first mention that when you record at this uh, high frame rate, you have no autofocus or auto exposure. So you need to set all this first and then uh, press the center button. Then when I press record, uh, it will stop recording and then I drop the ball. The camera will then keep shooting till the buffer memory is full. What you see now is uh, how the camera is writing from the buffer memory to your memory card. You can uh, press cancel at any time when you think that you have uh, enough uh, footage or when you are happy with your scene. Let's take a look at the end trigger event. It might be a bit more counterintuitive, but what it does is when you have set your scene, the focus and exposure, the buffer keeps rolling and when you press rec, you will stop the buffer and then transfer it to your memory. So this is very useful when you don't really know exactly when something is about to happen. It's useful if you want to shoot a bird that takes off or when I was uh, smashing the watermelon. So what this basically does is that when I have composed my scene and pushed the button, the buffer is running all the time and uh, it keeps running until I press rec and now it's uh, transferring all this footage from the last few seconds over to the memory card. So all the high frame rate footage runs through the buffer continuously all the time until I decide to interrupt it with the rec button and then it takes uh, all the buffer and writes it to the memory card. 
in this specific case I uh, use the end trigger half because otherwise the sequence can be very long but they work exactly the same only that the buffer is longer in the normal end trigger. All right, so that's basically how you do it. Let's have a look at the final video. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments and I will do my best to answer them. And if you want more of this kind of content and more footage from the Sony RX100 Mark 7, don't forget to subscribe.